Welcome to my channel, it's Miss Tay Rose. Today I'm here with you with a requested makeup look. Now this was a look that I was sporting all around on Snapchat because I was out and about with the fam. This includes two beauty dupes. One from Huda Beauty and then another one from Morphe. Now if you want to see what those two palettes are along with how I got this look make sure you keep watching so for the sake of today's video and knowing that I'm in a new space I'm going to start with my right eye this time around first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to delve into my Beauty Glaze Impressed You palette I barely use this palette but I decided to try it the first shade I go into with regards to this palette is it's going to be on this shade. And I'm going to apply that as my first crease color. I decided to add a little more of that shade too. Knowing that that yellow was bright. Again, note that because it's been a while or yeah, you know, a while since I've worn the look the colors may be different compared to what you saw on snapchat moving on to my lid color I'm going to use yet a metallic shade and it's going to be this right here now I'm going to use a regular eyeshadow brush to blend that into my lid and morph it sort of into my crease color I'll show you how I do it color consists of a lot of fallout so I'm just going to simply wipe it off all gone so now in order to intensify the color what I did was I sprayed it with a setting spray but I mean I used the Garnier Fructis um soothing facial mist and I sprayed it on my brush in order to intensify the color And that's my lid color. So now I'm going to add now I'm going to add a second crease color and it's going to be above that brown shade that I used earlier and it is right here. Because of how intense this color is, I'm gonna go extremely light with this shade. And that's going to, again, not only be my second crease color, but it's also going to blend out. There's a dog that's um, barking, but I mean, anyway. There is going to be a um, second. Not only is this going to be my second crease color, but this also is going to help to blend my lid color out as well. intensify that lid color the one thing with this palette is that the mattes are awesome and I've said it before in a video and I'm gonna link that in the cards above the mattes are awesome but then when it comes to the shimmers it's not that popping except this one turned out amazing compared to all the other shimmers that I've tried 
I mean, I'll, I'll give this one a leeway to working. And this one's more blind than this one, but then again, I'm better with my right eye. Oh, boy. Sorry about my leggings. That's why we have weird leggings, right? Not only is that shirt going to be part of my second crease color and my lid color, but it's also, I'm also am going to apply that on my bottom lash line as well. So we can see how simple this eye look is. So this is definitely, definitely every day. Now we need to have one more thing to do and that is the brow light or the eyebrow highlight. Going back to the same Beauty Glaze and Press You palette, I'm going to take this nude shade and I'm going to clean up around my brow area. Okay, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm lightly buffing out that crease color so that way it's not, there's no line right there. So now my Beauty Glaze palette is set. Move on to uh, and move on to a palette that I have not used in a hot minute. And it's been a while. And this is the Focal Lure We Care Your Favors palette. I remember I first when I first opened this YouTube channel or YouTube account, this is one of the palettes that I use. But I'm um, again back in it again. <laughs> and the shade that I will be using for my brow light or my eyebrow highlight is Moonlight, which is a shimmery white. And we all know the drill as to what I'm going to do with this. So I also just remembered too that I so I look back at my picture and I had did my own tear ducts because right now there's negative space right there and that looks eh. So I filled that in with a gold and the gold I used from the Focal Lure We Care Your Favorites palette was in Salmon. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, place Salmon directly in my tear ducts. Salmon gives this look a definite pop. If you don't want to do tear ducts, that's up to you. But I like a love tear duct pop. So now the technical final thing that I'm doing. So now technically the final thing that I'm doing is applying my lashes. These are very simple wispy lashes that they're not too everyday everyday, but they're everyday for if you want to be glam and that is exactly what I'm doing I'm this is everyday look so it could be glam and these are the wispies I'll show you how they look it's very lightweight so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply my lash off camera finish rest of my face and I'll be right back at you with the lips I'm back at you with my face finished. Now it's time for the lips. First things first is I'm going to dive into a lip liner. And this I've used before and is making a second appearance. And this is the MAC lip pencil in the shade Cork. I'm going to I'm going to outline my lip and then I'm going to fill her in. one way that you can wear your lippy the second lippy or second lip that you could wear in combination to cork is this wet and wild liquid cat suit which is a liquid lipstick by wet and wild and this is in the shade give me mocha i had this for my birthday a couple years ago and i love the color so much but then it got finished so i had to stack up on another one 
So this is what I'm going to overlay on top of pork. Now this is the second lippy that I'm wearing. Now the third lippy that you could wear over the two, and this is what I did, was the Tarte Cosmetics H2O Gloss in the shade Sandbar. Now this is more of a lip topper, and but this could also change the color of your lipstick. So if you are new to makeup, just know that any metallic lip gloss, whether it's a gold shimmer like this, or silver shimmer under a brown, a pink, or a different undertone will change the color in the right way how you want it. Perfect. I'm just going to put sandbar over the combination. combined with my accessories and my sweater definitely Tay Rose approved thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up also comment down below any more makeup looks that you'd like to see whether it's more soft looks more looks from the impress you palette or from the focal lure we carry your favorites palette if you are a new viewer please click on that subscribe button and also click on that bell so that way you are notified as to when my videos are out. That's all I have for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!